Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So this week I'm going to be talking about early extension. I've been getting a lot of questions about this recently, so I want to discuss with you guys certain things that you can change in your setup position, certain body parts that you can think about throughout the swing. Um, I will also share two of my favorite drills that I like to assign people with this issue specifically. And then we'll talk about some certain feels that people have um, in order to solve their issue. So for those of you who are maybe unaware of what early extension is, the movement of extension is basically when someone just raises um, their posture up this way. Okay, so early extension is basically in the downswing, a player demonstrates that extension like too early, kind of well before they even hit the golf ball. To solve this issue, many people are so focused on what they're doing kind of swing-wise or during the swing, but very few people focus on this the setup. And a lot of things that you do in the setup can actually promote you to do more of this early extension movement. What I see very commonly with people who, who early extend is that they tend to stand really far away from the golf ball. So there's a lot of space between their hands and their thighs here. Okay. Also, they have a, a, the majority of their weight kind of more displaced towards their heels. Okay. So if you, if you pay attention to the line of my butt here, it's like it's really far kind of beyond my heels like this. Okay, they also tend to have a lot of bending in the knees that address here like this. So their, their posture kind of more or less kind of looks like this here. Since you're setting up with your, with basically with your hips really far away, you're going to have a tendency to kind of move them forward towards the ball. So what I get these people to do instead is I want them to focus on just getting their weight more evenly distributed between their feet. So that means that they have to feel as though they get more of their weight kind of into the balls of the feet or the center of the feet. Okay. Also, you want to make sure that you have less bend in the knees and also tuck your hip kind of more forward and underneath you. Okay. So that, that, that butt line doesn't extend beyond the heels too much like this. Okay. So get the hips more tucked forward, weight more kind of on the balls of the feet, less bend in the knees. Okay. Also, um, when your lower body is, is, is in that position there, you don't necessarily have to have this arch in your back. Okay, a lot of people have the idea when they're in this position that, that, that they have to arch their back in an attempt to get it straight. But when, when you actually arch your back, right, that's actually really bad for the golf swing. You you'll you'll limit your mobility. And again, that arch is gonna promote you to want to like basically unarch it, okay, and get the hips more forward like that. Okay. When your lower body's more kind of uh, or the weight's more in the center of the feet, hips are more tucked under you. You just want to have, you know, a slight bend from the waist and you're going to feel like your hands are much, much closer to you. Okay. So this was kind of before, right now, after the adjustment, hips are more underneath you, weights more even. Okay. Just a slight bend from the waist, right? You let my, sh I let my shoulder blades kind of come forward, right? This is kind of what it will look like. So now with your lower body in this position, it's going to feel feel a lot like like you don't have to really early extend so much in the downswing okay so that's something that you guys can focus on um, that should really really help so now when it comes to the swing itself there's only one body part that I'd want you guys to focus on and that would be your trail leg um, or your trail heel okay so with a lot of early extenders what happens is when they come down I see that their their trail heel comes off the ground very very early also, their, their trail knee kind of drives forward or more towards the golf ball. Okay, so coming into the ball, they kind of look more or less kind of like this. All right. And um, if you were to pay attention to a lot of great ball strikers, you'll notice that the heel of their trail foot doesn't really come off the ground very, very early. So through impact, you'll see that the heel of their, of their right foot kind of stays pretty close to the ground for a fairly long time through impact. And then kind of right as they're finishing or making their finish uh, position, that's when their, their right foot completely comes off the ground. So they're not getting the right heel to come off the ground very early like this. Uh, so, so another piece of evidence that I see is in the fall through, when they drive their knee forward and they get their heel off the ground, there's a lot of space or a small gap kind of between their knees here. So one of my favorite drills I assign people who have this early extension issue is to, is to hit balls with a staggered stance. Okay, so they're going to bring their trail foot uh, behind their lead foot. Okay, and and this does basically two things for you, right? It bring that trail foot back behind your left. It makes it more difficult for that 
trail need to kind of drive towards the golf ball and it makes it easier for your your trail heel to stay on the ground longer through impact so when i go through and, and try to hit this shot right you can see that when you when you do this or try this it's going to feel easy for your the inside of your thighs to kind of get closer to each other um, and it's going to feel very difficult for this to kind of move forward another point to consider is that when people try this drill for the first time they also feel as though they have to stay lower to the ground um, in order for them to catch the ball um, and that's a really good feel, feeling to have if you if you are an early extender because if you did early extend basically your chest would come further away from the ground or further away from the ball so um, to kind of counter that that movement if you do feel like your chest stays lower your hips stay back right all those things then it's going to get you to feel what you need to in order for you to make the change so the second drill I want to share with you guys involves kind of some vertical object. Um, you can also use a wall in, in, uh, instead of this. But what you want to do basically is when you get in your setup position, you just want to gently rest um, your butt like a kind of against this, okay, against this noodle or kind of uh, against the wall. Now, remember the early extenders, what they do is that they get their hips to kind of thrust forward or more towards the golf ball. So basically your butt's going to move away uh, from this noodle or from the wall, right? So you actually want to focus on feeling the opposite uh, movement to that. So when you get to the top and when you transition down, you want to feel like you're pushing your butt more into the object, okay, or more kind of in towards the wall. So if you are using a wall, what you can do is you can just get your butt to, to maybe stand or be a little bit away from the wall to start. Then when you get to the top and when you come down, you'll push your butt more into the wall okay so this drill is only for kind of your to feel the, the the movement from the top position down kind of part way in the downswing okay so but you really want to focus on getting that hip to feel like it pushes back pushes back this way so how I get a lot of my players to practice this is when they get in their setup position I want them to rehearse the movement okay three times before a shot so they're gonna go up to the top they're going to go part way down into the downswing. They're going to push the noodle kind of further back. Right? Really focus on feeling the hip moving back further instead of kind of more towards the golf ball. Okay, so they're going to go up, you know, one, two, three. Okay, and then they'll try and apply that feel to an actual shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to see more golf-related content in the future. See you guys on the next one.